My name is Paul Ziska. I'm a professional photographer based out of the Canadian Rockies. I'm a lover of cold places. I absolutely love glaciers and I'm here today at the Athabasca Glacier to document two things. The beauty of these icy landscapes but also the rapidly occurring changes. So I'm going to start here at the Athabasca Glacier and then I'm heading over to the next valley to visit the Dome Glacier and document what's happening there. Ever since I started in photography, I've been fascinated by ice. I've repeatedly marveled at how ice can display an infinite array of textures, present ever-changing shades of blue and white, and interact with light in countless ways. Ice is never the same. And in the face of that fact, I feel both a fascination and a heartache. It seems we're only decades, maybe even a decade away from some of this ice disappearing altogether. Some of the ice featured in photographs taken just a few years ago is already gone. And with rising temperatures, we risk the melting of our polar regions and the world's glaciers. And of course, the implications of this are well researched and documented. These glaciers here in Jasper National Park are at the front lines of climate change. Cryophilia is a glacial pursuit to document vanishing ice around the globe. Some absolutely incredible features here at the Athabasca Glacier. I've probably come here four or five times over the last few months and I had not seen this yet. So it's a place that's very dynamic always offers some fresh opportunities for photographers, constant change happening here in the Athabasca. And I'm happy with the few images that I've gotten. I'm gonna walk all the way back down the glacier and go check out the next valley over where the Dome Glacier lives. Just wrapping up the day here at the Dome Glacier, the glacier has changed a lot, uh, even just since last year. It's lost a ton of ice and it's largely covered in rocks now. So it presents very different opportunities phot photographically than it did last year. And that's one of the reasons that I like to keep returning to these places. And I have been returning for many, many years. The Photosport Pro Green Line bag is perfect for this project because it allows me to fit in all of the photo gear that I need to document these beautiful and changing places, but also all of the glacier travel equipment that I need to travel over these landscapes in a safe manner. One thing that's been in the back of my mind all day is that nearly all the ice that I saw today is likely to be gone by the end of my lifetime, which is just incredible. So I highly recommend people go out there and have those very special experiences with the landscape. Uh, I believe that it's only once we have those experiences that we're going to start to really care and want to protect those very special places. <laughs> 